But my respect and undivided, total undivided attention. He's the world champion kickboxer. Have a look at Tim doing his stuff. There you go. And uh, he's... Uh, he's just... Uh, and I'm going to... Hmm. Would you please welcome Stan, the man, Longanini. <laughs> Good handshake, Stan. Good handshake. Now, uh, I'll just read this. You're the Australian heavyweight champion. That's right. South Pacific heavyweight champion. Yeah. US heavyweight champion. Yeah. North American heavyweight champion. Intercontinental heavyweight champion. And the World Junior heavyweight champion. That's right. Get into many fights? Yeah, we get a few. We get a few. I've had 24 together now. Do people fights. try and pick you in the street because they know you're Stan the man? No, not really. Uh, you know, if you uh, project a good image, you know, people feel guilty having a go at you, really, I think, you know. I mean, I, I go out there, I don't drink, I don't get involved with anything that people don't like, so, yeah. I'm... I don't know the rules of kickboxing, but it, it just seems to me it's anything goes. Are there any parts of the... Are you right, Keith? Thanks. <laughs> Can we get you a sea slug or something? Just keep there... being really nice to that man. <laughs> Keith was interrupting you there. I don't want to point. Keith was deliberately interrupting you, Stan. <laughs> Are there any parts of the human body, Stan, that you cannot touch in kickboxing? Yeah, you can't kick to the groin. Um, it's, it's pretty much like uh, boxing. What are you, girls or something? <laughs> no, that's the, the most important part of our body, I guess. Yeah. But, uh, um, kickboxing is a sport where it actually incorporates two different sports, karate in yeah. general and boxing. Yeah. It's pretty similar to boxing. We're in a square ring, as you've seen. Uh, yes. We have three judges, and uh, you know, points can be tallied or there could be knockouts, like that little clip mm -hmm. you've seen. How many knockouts have you had out of your what? 26. 20, fights? 22 victories I've had. Uh, one, one draw and one defeat. Um, 18 knockouts out of the 22 victories. Mm -hmm. And do you get your knockouts with your with your feet? Or with oh, your they vary. Fists? Yeah, both. You know, feet or, or punches. They vary. How, what's your strongest strength? How do people regard you as? Uh, you um, a fist man or a? I like to think that I've got a bit of everything that people are afraid of, but um, <laughs> but uh, I'm known for a fighter that's got a good left hook and very strong kicks, so, you know, low kicks in particular. You, you, you go into the ring and you belt the shit out of someone. <laughs> They're on the canvas. What goes through your head at this point? I hope this guy gets up. <laughs> really, I mean, one thing I want people to realise, um, you know, before the fight, I'm always in, in, in the dressing room and I'm praying that you know, nor myself or my opponent seriously get hurt. I mean, it's something that's very important to me. I know that the most prestigious way of, of being victorious is a knockout, but uh, really I don't want to you know, cause any permanent damage to anybody, no. And you, you're just praying to God that they're thinking roughly the same sort of <laughs> I thing. Hope so. <laughs> <laughs> now, we have a, to demonstrate uh, Stan's prowess, we have a, a watermelon <laughs> and. Uh, Someone from the audience <laughs> has stupidly agreed to hold this watermelon. Can we have the two people from the audience? Can we have the watermelon holders, please? <laughs> and, and, and Keith is going to... Uh, sorry, not Keith. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Keith Floyd is going to show us how to prepare a watermelon for a salad. No, he's not. <laughs> how to peel a watermelon, which should be a fairly riveting segment. No, he, uh, Stan the man is in fact going to belt the shit out of the watermelon, <laughs> which is a totally different. Stan, are you feeling up for this at, uh, at this point in time? I've never done it before. I hope I break that thing. I don't know. Because <laughs> if your opponents see that you can't even break... There's a big stick in the middle of the watermelon. Can we get a, a shot of that? It's fine, that, yeah. That's, a, that's not going to get in the right of anything, is it? I hope not. Jeez, I've got a fight coming up pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but your opponents haven't got sticks through them. Would you please welcome, as he goes to kick the watermelon, Stan. <laughs> All right, now, Stan, if you could just, uh, if you could prepare yourself. Now, can we have absolute silence here? Uh, this is, this is extremely dangerous, particularly if you're a watermelon. <laughs> Stan, in your own time, please.
take a break. We'll be back with more after this. Stick around.